How's it going guys? My name is Jonah August. I'm a wedding filmmaker based in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm happy that you're here. Today I'm going to be talking about zoom versus prime lenses for wedding videography. One option is definitely better than the other in my opinion, so I'm going to give you a few reasons why. But first, let's talk about the differences between these two types of lenses. A prime lens has a fixed focal length. The most common fixed lengths you'll find are 24, 35, 50, 85, 105, and 135 millimeter. A zoom lens has a varied focal length. The most common zoom lengths you'll find are 16 to 35, 24 to 70, and 70 to 200 millimeter. Prime lenses tend to have lower apertures, otherwise known as f-stops. This allows more light to enter the lens and produces a shallower depth of field. Zoom lenses tend to start at a higher aperture than primes, which results in less light entering the lens, which produces a larger depth of field. Put it into visual terms with prime lenses, it's easier to achieve that dreamy bokeh look that so many people are searching for. But recently there has been a change in zoom lens development that provides a lower aperture that rivals prime lenses to an extent. A fairly new Tamron 35 to 150 millimeter is a variable aperture lens that starts at f2. This was a complete game changer when it was released because zoom lenses usually didn't start at f2. I have made a full comprehensive review of this lens so make sure that you check it out. Canon also released the RF 28 to 70 millimeter that has a constant aperture of f2. These are incredible changes in the lens game. I think it's just the start of many great zoom lenses to come. Before this there has been an age-long debate that prime lenses are better than zoom lenses because they usually start at a lower aperture. A lot of prime lenses start at f 1.2, 1.4, or 1.8. Many filmmakers would claim that if you want to produce a cinematic looking image that you have to use prime lenses. Maybe that is true to some extent but it really depends on what you're filming. Now I want to talk about why I think zoom lenses are a better choice specifically for wedding filmmaking. Reason number one is varied focal length. If you've been filming weddings for a while now you'll know that sometimes weddings are very fast paced. The worst thing is having to faff around with your gear when a moment is occurring. Using a lens with a varied focal length will save you from missing a moment. You'll have the ability to shoot wide when necessary and tight all in the same breath without even having to move much. Now I don't suggest becoming complacent and staying in one spot. There's way more to filming than that but having this flexibility is super important when filming weddings. Reason number two is lens compression. Lens compression is an interesting thing. It can be achieved with prime lenses of course but with zoom lenses you have the ability to make it happen without switching lenses. For example I can switch from 35 millimeter to 150 millimeter in a split moment on my Tamron 35 to 150 and get a nice compressed image. Compression is when the foreground and background appear to be closer together in the image than they really are. For example, if I'm filming a nice portrait at 150 millimeters, I have to stand quite a distance away from my subject to frame them nicely. Sure, I can get the same framing at 35 millimeter and stand way closer to the subject, but the image will look completely different. I like having this ability on the fly because it produces a really interesting looking image. Now reason number three is money saving. Think about it for a sec. The Tamron 35 to 150 millimeter covers most of the classic prime fixed focal lengths. It covers 35, 50, 85, 105, and 135 millimeters. That means with this one lens, I can replace five prime lenses. That's thousands of dollars in savings. Also, that's just less gear you have to haul around with you on a wedding day. Well, that is everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as to why I think zoom lenses are way better than prime lenses for wedding videography. Let me know if you have any questions at all in the comment section below. Thank you for liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.